hello guys back again with another video so now in today's video i'm going to show you how to install metasploitable 3 this is going to be a linux machine of which you are going to practice your penetration testing skills so these labs were created with a couple of vulnerabilities to help you to enhance your skills in penetration testing so go on open up your browser so now you see that here when you go on and say download metasploitable 3 we have the first link which is taking you to github primarily when you click to the first link and you check to your github you see that we have this main repository where you can go on and you clone it but downloading this repository it means you're going to install a couple of requirements you see that you have to install backer and you have to also install vagrant you have to also have your virtual machine or the virtual box so now this is a bit hard but when we come back here we also have a second link here which is taking us to a different website now when you tap to that you'll be able to download a compiled source code for our metasploitable 3 and here we shall be downloading this image for ubuntu so now if you want to see how to install metasploitable 3 a windows server click to the link into the description and i'll also be providing these links in the description so when we come here to this website you see here they said download metasploitable 3 ub 1404.ova so the username and password here is going to be vagrant so just come here to files now if you tap to files just come here and also download this ova so now when you try to see here it has a capacity of 2.9 gb so i can go on firstly let me deactivate my downloader here so when i tap on this it will be start right away inside my browser but i already downloaded the software i have it on my machine now in case you have good internet your download will be faster but in case your internet it is slow you can first download the software then do the installation later so now you're going to see that in a few minutes our download is going to start here but if you read through this website they are telling you that this is going to be a ubuntu machine or a linux machine here when they list above the always so <clears throat> when we come here into my browser you see i already downloaded this and it is 2.7 gb inside my location now it also has an extension of .fva so also when we come back here you see that right away in a few minutes our download has started let me just cancel this because i already have this software so let's go to our location where you downloaded your software too double click to this location your virtual box is going to be opened up and we are going to start to import this program so now when you try to see here, our virtual box has been opened up and here they're telling us the name of our machine it is metasploitable 3 the guest type os it is ubuntu 64 bit now when we look at here the cpu here they are giving it two cores but my machine is isn't that strong and I also i'm not going to be using this machine already so let me just give it one core so when we come here to the ram we have 2048 which is 2 gb i'm going to also change this to <clears throat> to 10 24 which is 1 gb so when we scroll down 10 24 this is 23 10 24 which is 1 gb so when we scroll down here the ask cars where they are going to be saving the files or when we also come here the best file i can also provide a different location where our files will be kept i can click to the drop down click to others then here i'm going to save this on my external drive where i normally keep my machine so i'm going to come here to the backup then i'm going to come here to virtual machines and i'm going to say open so i've changed the location that is the way you can change any location let's say you don't have space where your virtual machine is going to be created and here let's say finish so here our machine is going to be imported within our system within a few minutes depending how fast your computer is you will be finalizing with the importing and a new instance is going to be created here onto your left so let's give it a couple of minutes and we finalize with importing 
this system inside our virtual machine. All right, you see that in a couple of minutes, our machine has finished to be imported. So we have to change some settings of the network because if we don't, it's going to fail with the installation. So now when you try to see uh, this is connected to the NAT and here I'm connected to my wireless. So I'm going to come here, tap to the NAT and I'm going to change this connected to bridge adapter and I'm going to leave to well and zero and do OK. So I'm going to also come tap to this. Now this one I'm going to put it to the our NAT network and say OK. So now here with the bridged adapter, we are going to get our IP address, which is going to be like the same with our router or getting internet assigned by the DHCP of our router. And here we are getting internet, which is provided inside our virtual machine. So if you're done to set to this, just come here and click on start. So now if you remember inside our documentations, they told us that the password is going to be Vagrant and also the username is going to be Vagrant. So I'm going to click don't show this message again and say switch. Now we are booting into the full screen mode. We give it a couple of seconds. We shall be logging to where we will be asked to insert in our username and password. Now for the username it's going to be Vagrant enter and the password it is going to be also Vagrant. So now we have access to our shell. Now the remaining thing for you to do it is to start performing your penetration testing. Now here if we say ID you see that we are Vagrant. You can also say who am I still we are background you can still check your ip because if you're going to do penetration testing you need to know the ip of the machine you are going to try to attack here i can say ip addr so press enter so when you look through very well you will see the ip to our machines so we have ether zero where we have 192.168.43.11 that is the IP I'll be using to scan this machine and perform our attacks. So in the case you want to know how to also install Metasploitable 3 of a Windows server, click the link into the description. And also at the end of this video, you can tap on that video popping up onto your screen. Subscribe to my channel, share to friends that may be interested. Give a thumbs up. Also, have a great day. Peace.